Ooh, that's your mama house. You ain't warn me. It's like, you gotta warn somebody you finna do that in front of your mama. Like, it was just random. We just sitting there. I'm looking at <laughs> I'm looking at you. And then your mama has said. And we're back with another big, big video, big, big video, big, big video. Ew. Beat to the J. You were supposed to be said that when I first said Jermaine. I was trying to just have you start doing the Exactly, because I knew you was going to try to do that. You started doing that, so I had to hurry up and squeeze it in. Whatever. <laughs> What's up, DJ Gang? What's popping? Gang, 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 gang. So today, y'all, we're going to be talking about our coming out story. <laughs> because, you know, a lot of people don't know, like about us like personally and about our coming out story nobody knows nothing about nothing because we never talk about it so today is the day we're gonna talk about it mm -hmm. so before we get into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you turn on that bell make sure you comment down any other videos you want us to do and make sure you follow us on instagram at johnson's 2218 and let's get to this video go ahead because oh, mine is the lightest one yeah go ahead i uh how i came out I really didn't come out. I was just already like this, literally, at 12 years <laughs> So you've been having sex at the age of 12 with girls? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I may not really like full, but I'm like, you know what I mean? But little stuff. So you've know. been having that strap on at the age of 12? I mean, if you want to say that. Girl, don't play with me. So, Girl, I don't thought they would even buy me don't know about straps at 12. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I've been thugging since 12. Me, I think how we had a conversation with me and my dad. Well, pretty much a lot of my sisters always was accusing me of being gay. They used to come tell my dad like, "Yeah, she's gonna be gay." And they've been saying this since I was like eight years old. My dad used to whoop him and stuff because he wasn't really playing with that right then and now. But then one day he just asked me, and I just told him, "Yeah." yeah. That was so it. did you feel like? he was going to judge you when nah, you told him nah. about it did you feel like your mom was gonna judge you nah okay my parents lit my dad he always is supportive of me and he know main reason why i'm like this is because of him so right. i was thugging with him since i was little you know what i'm saying we was out there throwing footballs and stuff together so you never in your you never in your mind thought you would ever be a feminine nah okay nah i know i know what role i need to take in my I life i like the role though I mean, you ain't really a role. It's really my lifestyle. I like, I like your lifestyle. It's my lifestyle. I like your lifestyle. You feel me? I does this. Tough. I does this. Heavyweight. Big general. Feel me? Huh. Don't play you no swear you games. Kept it Man, the most I dressed like a girl was that was that last video. Y'all, I'm gonna post a picture of BJ when she had when she was dressed like a girl when she was little versus when she was dressed like a boy when she was little and. Yes, I got the picture, so I'm going to post those um, while this video is playing. I'm going to show y'all when she was a girl and when she was a boy. And when her mom dressed her and when her dad dressed her. You know, when she was little. So, yeah. Is that, is that, that it about your cover? Yeah, that's story? pretty much what it is. Mine's was actually really smooth. Thank okay. God it was. I didn't have to go through a lot of stuff. And I was the only gay person in my school, so it wasn't. So you used to be in a field with the dudes and fight yeah, the dudes yeah. and stuff like that. Hang out with dudes all night. Well, I hung out with dudes. I said, so you home. ain't had no girly friends? Nah, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't. I really don't like females. Like dealing wise, yeah. But as far as like friends and stuff, I can't deal. You with like females. me? Yeah, if I'm saying like I'm dealing with. But you. before we was dealing, you liked me. You liked yeah, me because my vibe. your mentality and your vibe was like a a female slash nigga vibe. Like you could play the game, you could hoop, you could. You feel me? Yeah. So a lot of females can't do that. Okay. But you do it. Period. <laughs> Well, y'all, okay, so my coming out story. All right, so y'all know, as if y'all haven't known, y'all going to know now, I've been dealing with boys all my life. Like, I never thought to this point that I was going to deal with a girl, ever. 
prefer because I'm so I don't I would hang out with dudes before I hang out with girls I don't like females neither because there's just too much drama they're messy they lie a lot they get jealous of dudes want to talk to you and not them it's this it's that it's that I had that all my life so I just really always hung out with dudes because I'm cool like that. Did y'all want to go hoop? Okay, come pick me up so we can go hoop. Let's go. I was always that type of female, but I always messed with dudes. I never messed with females. So when me and her started talking, um, we were on our way to my mama's house. And my mama always thought that, you know, this is my best friend. I always told my mom that this was my best friend, but we were already doing things that made us be in a relationship. We were dating already. We were already dating, but I kept mm -hmm. breaking it to my mom that she was my best friend. And if y'all don't know, my mom is my best friend. Like, I would never want to ever disappoint my mom or my brother. They are our main two people I would, I just can't disappoint. Because then I'm going to feel like I'm just a failure and I let them down and all this other stuff. So, them are my main important people besides, you know, Bay. Them are people that I just can't let down. So, it was hard. So, let me not get, you know. But... So we went to my mom's house and um, she cooked for us. My mom cooked for us. So we like, okay, me and my best friend are gonna come over. All right. So we come over, you know, my, my mama hug her and was like, she fine, Adriana, da, 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 da. And I'm like, mm -hmm, mama, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> this is my best friend. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is my best friend. Yes, this is my best friend. She's cool. She real cool. I like her vibe, da, da, da. She's somewhere I could talk to. So we eating at the table, right, y'all? Unexpectedly. We get to talking or whatever. And my mama looked at BJ and was like, uh, my mom looked at BJ and was like, um, why do you keep looking at my daughter like that? Like she's a like she's a snack or something. And at this point, I'm really sitting over here already shocked because I date her already. My mama just don't know mm -hmm. that. So we were already dating. And when she said that, it just sparked in my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, should I tell my mama now? Cause if y'all don't know, my mama is like a church person. And she's really big on like stuff by the Bible. You know what I'm saying? But... When I told her, you know, when she, when I said, I said, mom, you know what? I got something to tell you. And she was like, what, baby? And I said, um, I was like, okay, so <laughs> me and BJ are kind of more closer than you think. Um, we like each other. And I was just, I was just like flat out real with her. Like we like each other. And yeah, I really like her and we haven't did anything sexual yet. But we already had did that. Was so I was, I was just telling tweets. her. You, okay, don't do too much. I was telling her, you know, like, I like her, da, da, da. So my mama was shocked. She stared at me for so long because she was just shocked. You know, that's a, that's something shocking. But the next day, she um, told me to come to her job. I went to her job. And, you know, we were talking. We both were crying because I felt like I let her down. And so I'm crying now because I'm like, did I make a mistake? Am I am I doing something wrong? Should I not date BJ? Like, what's the, what's the issue? And so my mom actually asked me, is this something I really wanted to do? I was like, yeah. I said, I like her vibe. Her vibe is something different I never felt in my life. I could talk to her. She make me feel like I'm secure. She's gonna have my back. She's gonna protect me. And you always wanna be with somebody that you feel like gonna protect you. Cause if you can't do that, and it came to a situation they can't protect you, you're going to feel like, okay, why well, I'm with you, I can protect myself. You can't do nothing for me. But since I felt like she was on my side, she could protect me. She got my back. She ain't gonna let nobody disrespect me. She ain't gonna let nobody put their hands on me or that. Yeah, that was a different vibe for me. So she my mama do. asked me that. My mama asked me that, and I told her, like, yes, I think this is something I want to do. This is somebody I want to be with. Um, absolutely. And ever since then, my mama accepted her. She accepted me. She ain't treated us no different. She still call her, to this day, her best friend. Mm -hmm. Because I always call her my best, best friend, friend, but yeah. she always called her best friend, too. So, you know, now it's like... It's been two years. It's two and a half years now. And, um, yeah, it's been a great, it's, it's been great. My mom love her. My brother love her. My sister love her. Like, my whole entire family loves BJ. And, you know, you know how you, you can have other people come into your life before somebody else. But if it's not the same relationship and you see that it's really different of how your family actually act with the person you're with, 
It's a big difference. It's a big, big, big difference. So, you know, that was really my coming out story. I, Me posting it on social media, I wasn't really going to post it on social media. I wasn't going to say anything. My mama told me to keep it off social media because, you know, she's still church-wise and she didn't want nobody saying nothing to her, judging her, judging me. And so, you know, it came to a point where I had, you know, a, a problem with like a lot of people keep commenting on my snapchat that look like a girl is that a girl you better not be with no girl oh my god Adriana, mm -hmm. you gay da, da, da. and i was just really getting tired of that and then it took to somebody that was really really close to me to do some let me see some foul dishonest stuff towards me and it's somebody that i love so dearly and this is my favorite 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 cousin of the whole wide world that person made me he basically made me come out because you know it was just you made you went to go make a status about me you talked about me you did this you did that and I was tired of it so I'm like okay well instead of having all these people study keep judging me let me just post this picture let me just post this picture and when I posted that picture I didn't get no backlash I got all like oh y'all cute careful y'all this y'all that that's what I got I didn't get no rude no disrespectful stuff no nothing it was all love and I felt like, okay, so if they're accepting me, I was always big on listening to what people say. So if somebody was like, no, nah, she she a hoe, don't be with her. I wasn't going to be with her. Just for a simple fact, I let other people control me. In my mind, I was like, okay, I've never been this type of way, so don't do this. Or you're going to get talked about or this and that. But like, image. yeah, I cared about my image. I protected my image so much and I protected my image so well. To the point where now, there can't nobody speak on me about nothing because I haven't I don't, I don't, I'm not an open book. You will be, a, I will only be an open book unless somebody asks me something and it's somebody that I'm really close with and I tell you. But I'm not an open book. So it's not really too much you can say about me. So me meeting her, it was like, oh snap, I'm finna tell my mama. It was unexpected. She didn't even know I was finna tell my mama that I Yo, we were dating. Yo, my heart dropped when we was at your mama house. You ain't warn me. Like, you gotta warn somebody you finna do that in front of your mama. Like, it was just random. We just sitting there. I'm looking at <laughs> I'm looking at you and then your mama has said, Oh, I see how you look at her and then so you turned around and said that, I was like, Oh, I'm finna get kicked out. <laughs> I'm finna get kicked out like Phil used to do yeah. on Jazzy. Yeah. Off of what? What you say? How Phil used to do off what? Jazzy. He's Phil used to do Jazzy. Phil used to do Jazzy. <laughs> what the fuck? Uncle Phil used to do Jazzy. I don't know who Jazzy is. Fresh Prince of LA. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you feel me? So I thought she was gonna just throw me out or have um go step that do it. It was that was nerve wracking. Yeah, I couldn't I, I really liked her, y'all. Like I ain't never just be like, Oh my god. I'm gonna tell my mama. She ain't know. I just was like, you know what, mama? Me and her like each other. Yeah. And we've been hanging out <laughs> and we've been close <laughs> and this and that. I just went on and told my mama because I really, really, really liked her. So I had to get my point across. But long story short, don't never let nobody destroy, try to destroy your image or tell you what type of person you should be. It's about you. It's about what you want to do. It's about who makes you happy. I don't even care fuck if you was in a relationship with a spider. It's if that spider making you happy, that's all that matters. Love is love. Love Period. become a different form. So no matter if it's a person Period. form, shit, material form, love is love. Love is a feeling. And in our relationship. You can't control where you love at. Our relationship off back. I'm talking about sitting hours and hours and oh, hours and Lord. hours and hours in the car. Just talking. Both of some pretty rare. <laughs> Just talking. Saying it back to back. What? Uh. So, yeah, y'all. That was pretty much our coming out story. Um, You know, Bay didn't have it. I really she, like, mine was hers good. was nothing, you, mine you know. Was. And mine was nothing after I told my mama. Now, I feel like I'm like, before, if I can tell my mama. She was uh, stressed out. She but before that, out. I was crying nonstop. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, oh, my God, this person said this. This person keep writing on this, asking, are you a girl? I was so stressed out. I was crying a lot because I, I didn't want nobody to talk about me. And that always been me. So I was just like, oh, my God. But then after I told my mama, and I know my mama is like an important person that only matters. After I told her, I was fine. And now that I done told everybody, now everybody know we've been together. We've been together for this long. You won't even, you wouldn't even 
think that we have issues with nobody because everybody just be like, oh, I love your couple. Yeah. Y'all so fine together. You know, this, that, and that, and the third. People be, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, we good now, though, right? And another thing. Hold on. Big general. Thing. Big general. Big general. You feel me? <laughs> and another thing. Please don't let that video I did last go, <laughs> go to a lot of y'all do hearts and stuff. Like, it was, it was a video. You feel me? I'm really cut like this, you feel what I'm saying? I really don't, you feel me? Cause it's gonna get Period, retarded. baby. You ain't gotta explain yeah, that, I'm, baby. I just wanna let that be known in the video. Like, we you can say, you, you know, swinging. you could say, you know, you, you a cute lady or whatever, you know, whatever guys be saying, but when it gets to the point where you get like deep into details or whatever else, I don't, I don't really play them games. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, <laughs> subscribe. Make sure you turn on that bell. Y'all, real shit though. Like, like y'all been on it. I love it. I love it. I love all the, the love we've been getting on Instagram. I love all the love we've been getting on YouTube. I love it, y'all. We are almost, we are so close. I can't tell y'all, but we are so, so, so close. And I'm so excited. So make sure y'all are watching this video fully out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on that bell. Make sure you go follow us on Instagram at Josh's2218. Mm -hmm. Run that up. And your DJ gang is out. Peace out. Yeah.